Now I'm just going to go through a few best practice tips that I have. We've already gone through some uh, just by creating these reports. But one of the one of the one of the best tips I, I've I've discovered as I've uh, developed um, many Power BI models and many Power BI reports is to think in grids. So when I say think in grids, think think about this. So let's create a shape. Let's create a rectangle like so. And let's first of all get rid of the border because we don't want that. And I'm going to make sure I send this to the back. And we'll change the color just slightly. Let's change the color to a light blue. So when you think in grids, I mean things like this. So and 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 you can actually place your uh, place your your shapes like this uh, rectangle. You can actually create the grids um, for yourself just manually, like like this. And I think this also looks. Uh, looks quite compelling when you set it up like so. It takes a little bit of additional setup, but it's worth it in terms of how the eye looks at your reports. Now, I can create a number of different grids here based on whatever visualization I want to build that grid around. And so, as I work along, uh, as I quickly create all of these visualization, uh, these grids, sorry, with my rectangle, with my rectangles and squares, etc. You'll see here that it gives custom custom zones or custom areas for each different visual. And if each different similar visual as well, because sometimes you might actually want to put two visuals within the same grid. And I'm just copying and pasting here. And what this does is it actually do, it just breaks up the visualizations. It breaks them up into their own separate uh, region or own separate zone. And I think it just gives that uh, gives gives the consumer just an easier easier way to glance over the information so that their eyes instead of just getting this one full page of all these visualizations they can actually see different sections and and their eyes drift to that section and then they are able to retrieve the information that they are looking for in that particular section so if I just and I just like to make sure that these are all aligned you want to make sure that all your lines are actually uh, are in line as much as possible um, just also makes things stand out a little bit better And then you'll eventually end up with something like this. And so if you think about when you make a selection, when you make a selection, you can see here, well, this is this is key information. You know, this is information in our bar chart. It's within, the, uh, it's, it's in these sections. Uh, we've got our, our column charts here, which has information over time. We've got our map visual, so on and so forth. And our key metrics are in their own section, in their own zone as well. And you obviously want to make the colors better as well. So. Um, ma making sure that your colors stand out is, is equally as important as these uh, as these grids. To try out different colors uh, is, 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 is very, very straightforward as well. So in this case, I'm not, not too convinced that this pale blue is actually, is actually the color that I want. So I'm just uh, holding down control and multi-selecting these visualizations, uh, sorry, these, these shapes. And then I'm just gonna play around with the different colors that I might wanna get. I don't like that gray, so I'm just going to come and create, create, a, create a lighter shade of gray. And we can also change things like um, we, we, make, we want to make sure that these, uh, these cards stand out as well. So we want to make sure that they stand out as much as possible because this is the key information, right? So we could turn it into red, but red's not a very lucky color in my opinion. So we might want to, uh, we, might go, we, we can go dark red actually. And then we will make the category label a lighter shade so that stands out a little bit more and say we wanted to drill into a specific product now we can see well total sales for that product over this time frame total profits total quantity so on and so forth one consideration here actually is you can't multi-select you can't multi-select visualizations so if I wanted to look at product 9 in LA County I can't actually do that by clicking on one of these um, clicking on this visualization and then clicking this visualization, multi-selecting is not allowed. The way that you would find that inside is you'd reconfigure your your uh, your reports, and you would try and you would place this into a slicer because if you think about the slicer, they this can actually stay constant. This slicer can actually uh, can actually 
um, hold its value. So if I selected 2015, quarter four, I can then select that and this remains. But I can't maintain a selection if I select it in between, in between visualizations.